Well, I guess I'll finish this banana now. Ew, it's all mushy. I must have let it go bad. Oh well, I guess I'll have to throw it away now, huh? I've thrown away so many bananas today. I really hope someone comes up with some solution. Do you find yourself wasting food when preparing meals for your family and loved ones? Do you feel frustrated when you can't finish all the food in your fridge before it hits its expiry date? And finally, are you disappointed by a world in which over one third of all food produced goes uneaten? Well, if you're anything like us, you just can't seem to kick food waste. Now that's where Grosseria comes in. Hi there, my name's Teddy Farmer, and I'm part of the Groceria Design Team here at TGS. As one of the two summative groups tackling global sustainability issues for our module, our main challenge was to design an efficient way for households to cut back on their domestic food waste in response to the increasingly severe food waste pandemic that seems to plague our world today. Here's what we made and how we did it. The first step for our design team was to conduct interviews with members of our own households in order to better empathize with the challenges that they face when managing their food waste. The following are some excerpts from those interviews. This looks like for you. Right, so obviously the quantities depend totally on the number of people and our numbers vary wildly depending on whether we are um, hosting guests, whether Laura's here with us or not here with us, or whether Sarah's eating with us or not eating with us. Um, and so I unfreeze or use fresh the quantity that I think I need for that person. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, I spend a lot of time trying to look up new recipes, so I do a lot of online research and... Uh, well, I think the most waste is actually caused probably by the, the, the supermarkets, the sell-by date, that, you know, they just have, they have so much food in the shop that is not sold. And, they... and you said that you weren't good in the past at limiting your food waste. Why was that? Um, if I'm being honest, totally honest, um, a lot of it wasn't to do with, it wasn't for environmental reasons, really, if I'm being honest. What really pushed me forward towards really watching my food waste was when um, they started weighing rubbish in bins and charging per kilo. Mm -hmm. And then we separated out our bins, um, or the company did, into recycling, general waste and organic food waste. And that made me very aware of food waste because I'd have to look at it once a week when I'm bringing it out for the truck. So. Our next step as a design team was to combine the insights that we had gained from our empathy interviews and with them, to formulate a problem statement in the form of a how might we question. This question in the end was how might we create a system that helps households to cut back on food waste as it is caused by shopping inefficiencies, excessive meal portions and disorganized storage of food. What followed was a chaotic, brilliant confluence of four minds the likes of which had never quite been seen before. One of the biggest problems with composting, if we were to look at that, is the fact that most people in bigger areas do not have the space and it smells pretty strongly. Like I'll some like something else, Ibrahim. Yeah, so like, yeah, I think we should definitely ask Ibrahim. Because um, I think the app would be more feasible just as a whole. If we, if we show it's well planned out and we have like the general like 
how realistic it is and research down. It's just, it's not coded. I think it would pass. Like if we have, like what Rachel did for your Teddy's and Mila's Gareth thingy, you have the whole face, you know what it looks like. You just don't have it coded. That mm -hmm. could possibly work. After deliberating for a bit and weighing the pros and cons of uh, doing a project around composting or a app about food waste, we eventually decided to make an app. Um, we ideated on our app topic and started our prototyping and ideation process all over again. Maybe let's just like hash out what we want in each section. Okay. So like it's more of like a yeah, I'm theoretical writing, wireframe. I'm just writing bullet points too. Okay. Um, okay. Homepage links to the, the shopping section. Okay. Maybe like what you have in your fridge. Like things you've bought recently. I was thinking on the home page, there could be a section that would tell you the things that will go out of date the soonest. That they're just when you open the app. Okay. So After much ideation and talking about what we wanted our app to have, we came up with a rough idea of a wireframe and began a lo-fi prototyping process. This next video here takes you through my lo-fi prototype video, which um, I tested with users. It shows some of the features of the home page, the shopping page, and the recipes page. In this specific example, I walked you through how you could search and save different recipes within the app. This next video is a quick walkthrough of Teddy's lo-fi prototype. Um, which is similar to mine. We both um, tested with users, got feedback, and got feedback from our TGS community members as well on the app. Um, here is an example of some of our user feedback. I, I, I liked the categories. I liked that um, one you were telling, I mean, I kind of keep track of what's already in my fridge. Mm -hmm. um, and I love that you incorporated recipes. After applying user feedback, Rachel and Effie made our final prototype design that we will be presenting here today. Welcome to the grocery app. Um, here you can see our homepage. Um, and this is the My Fridge section where we have the family member section, which shows the different people in your family, their profiles, and each profile shows the dietary preferences, allergies, and dislikes of foods, which you can edit at any time. The what's in my fridge section, which shows the foods in your fridge, freezer, pantry, in a list, easy for you to search, and the expiry dates listed as well. Also in the my fridge section is the shopping list, which includes foods that you might be buying soon, foods that are already in your cart, um, and just helps you keep track of what to buy when you're at the store. In the recipe sections, we have su suggestions for recipes. Um, here you can see salads, entrees, breakfast, pastas, and you could scroll to see more options as well. There's also a My Recipe section which shows recipes that you've saved or uploaded to the app um, and could be some of your favorite recipes that you use often. For example, this Yorkshire pudding recipe that serves four. Finally, back at the homepage section, you can see food that's expiring this week, today's recipe, um, and if you look at the ingredients, you can see that they are utilizing the food that is expiring this week. So people can get inspired um, and use up the food that they have while it's still good. Also, the My Savings section shows you how much you'd be saving by using this app and by eliminating food waste. 
And finally, the fact of the day. The most wasted food in France each year is cuisse de clangui, or in English, frog legs. Please excuse my bad French accent. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel and Effie, for the fact. Okay. So that is the Groceria app. Groceria has changed my life. It can change yours, too.